After four elections in four years and months of political limbo, Spain finally has a new government. Acting Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez has just clinched approval from Parliament for his coalition with the left-wing Unidas Podemos. While Sanchez, the Socialist Party leader, won the investiture with 167 votes in favour against 165. As expected, the vote was extremely tight as it hinged on the support or abstention of several smaller parties. Well, joining me now in the studio is Manu Terradillos to break down the result and uh, look ahead for the new prospects for Spain's government. Uh, Manu, um, it was uh, really close in the end, wasn't it? He almost didn't make it. Yeah, when I started with afternoon talks, yes, it, it was we expected. We have to say that the numbers we have, these 167 votes, yes, 165, it was uh, what we expected. But nevertheless, seeing that it was a really complicated operation involving a total of 10 parties, uh, eight of them voting in favour and uh, two going for abstention, uh, which is the Catalan Basque separatists, it was really complicated. The result is we're going to have the first, because we don't have to forget it, the first coalition government in Spain in, in, democ in democracy since the death of Franco. And you spoke about four uh, elections in four years. Well, this is uh, 300 today and 25 days in which the government has the label of temporary since uh, elections of last April were called. So finally this has finished and as uh, we expected and now it's time for Pedro Sánchez to see how he deals with this government because it's going to be complicated. Okay, well complicated is certainly, well, I would say, an understatement. Is this going to be a stable government? We'll have to see because we were saying there are a lot of parties involved. We have uh, some national parties, uh, smaller but national, who are, let's say, left wing. Then we have uh, regional parties that go from Catalan separatists and Basque separatists, who, who went for abstention today, to other with a regional agenda or nationalist agenda regarding the, their. Um, the region. Mm -hmm. So Pedro Sánchez will need uh, their support anyway for, for the next tasks and the main one will be to approve the budget because we are uh, still in Spain with the budget of 2018. It's an extension so for that he will, uh, he will need to go to the parliament, there will be another vote and he will need an absolute majority which means 176 and today he had only 167. So he will have to please from separatists uh, to regionalist nationalist parties and all of them are going to see that for example, the Catalan separatists are getting a lot of concessions. They will ask for uh, something similar or for more concessions. So it's going to be difficult to see uh, for him uh, to, to put everything in place and have the budget approved. OK, well, a lot of horse trading in prospect there. Um, of course, uh, Pedro Sanchez is now in this coalition government with the Unidas Podemos uh, and its leader, Pablo Iglesias. They've made it clear that they're going to have a left wing agenda. Uh, what can we expect to come out from that? Yeah, there are a lot of measures. Um, we have to see that uh, Podemos started mostly as, uh, well, it's an anti-austerity uh, party, so they're going to try to push for this agenda, but I think Pedro Sánchez and the socialists are quite comfortable. Leaving aside Catalonia, that will be uh, the main issue to, to solve, uh, we'll have uh, some economic measures like a rise of minimum wage, rise of pensions. Very important as well, because it's not pleasing the right, is a rise of taxes for, uh, for big companies. That will have to be dealt with in a difficult environment, because the Spanish economy is going to accelerate. And after after that, obviously, we will have uh, a lot of policies regarding women and gender equality uh, because there are some measures that were approved that have never been put in place because of the current paralysis. And now that it's going to be part of top of the agenda for this leftist socialist party, it's going to be also uh, there and it's going to be some of the, of the main points that they're going to deal with. OK, well, we look forward to hearing uh, more for about that. Uh, but for now, uh, Spain does have a new prime minister, at least I think we can call him that. Uh, Manu Terradillos, thanks for joining me on that. Always a pleasure.